Welcome to Children's Liturgy of the Word. Today, June 20th, is the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In today's Gospel, we'll hear a story about Jesus going out on a boat with his disciples, and a storm arises, and Jesus tells his disciples that they should have faith. Let's get started. We begin as we are baptized. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us pray. God of all creation, be, a, be with us when we are afraid. Give us courage to do what is right and strengthen our faith so that we may give comfort to others who are frightened in the storm. Amen. Let's now listen to today's first reading. This is a reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. There was nothing on earth and it had no shape. And the Spirit of God was moving like wind over the waters. And God said, Let all the waters be gathered into one place with dry land around it. God called the dry land earth and the waters seas. And God saw that it was good. This is the word of God. Our responsorial psalm is, Give thanks to the Lord. God's love is everlasting. Let's say that together. Give thanks to the Lord. God's love is everlasting. Some of you made a living by sailing the mighty sea, and you saw the miracles the Lord performed there. Give thanks to the Lord. God's love is everlasting. At his command, a storm arose and waves covered the sea. You were in serious trouble, but you prayed to the Lord and he rescued you. Give thanks to the Lord. God's love is everlasting. He made the storm stop and the sea be quiet. You were happy because of this, and he brought you to the port where he wanted you to go. Give thanks to the Lord. God's love is everlasting. Alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst. God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. This is a reading from the Gospel of Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One evening, while Jesus and his disciples were near the lake, he said to them, Let's go now to the other side. While they were crossing the lake, a bad storm came up, and a strong wind and crashed the waves over the side of the boat, and the boat was nearly filled with water. Jesus was asleep on a pillow in the back of the boat. The disciples woke him up and said, Don't you care? We're going to drown. Jesus got up and he commanded the wind and the waves to stop, saying, Be quiet! Be still! Then Jesus said to his disciples, Why are you afraid? Don't you believe in me? The disciples were shocked and amazed at what they had just seen Jesus do. They kept asking each other, who is this man? Even the wind and the water obey him. This is the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh. It's so dark. Miss Jen, where are you? Miss Jen, Miss Jen. Chestnut! Oh, Chestnut, what's wrong? I was all by myself and thunder and lightning, and I couldn't find you. Oh, Chestnut. I'm so scared. Oh, don't be afraid now. I'm here. I'm here, Chestnut. Do you remember the story that I read to you last night about Jesus and his friends? And they were in a boat, and a storm came, and the the boat was rocking, and the waves were crashing, and the disciples were scared just like you were scared. And they were looking for Jesus, and they looked and looked, and they found him, and he was asleep. And they woke him up and said, Jesus, Jesus, help us. We're so scared. The boat is going to sink. And Jesus said, why are you afraid? You know what? I was thinking about that because Sometimes I get scared of lightning too. And sometimes 
even though I'm a grown up, I get scared of the dark and I'm worried that there's something in the dark that might get me. And so when I'm scared, I was sort of thinking, that's kind of like when a storm comes and I get so scared and I'm shaking. And then I have to remember to do what the disciples did, is they looked for Jesus. And Jesus says, don't be afraid. That's the, that's the lesson I want you to think about this week, is that when the storms in your life come, whether it's because you're worried about a friend being angry with you, or you're afraid you're going to get left somewhere when your family goes out and they go off one direction and all of a sudden you can't find them, all those things that may scare you and may worry you, they're like storms in our lives. So when you get stuck in a storm, I want you to think about looking for Jesus. And Jesus tells us not to be afraid. Jesus always takes care of us. In the Bible, he said to the wind and the waves, be quiet and be still. That's how powerful God is, that even the wind and the waves obey him. So when we are scared because of the storms in our life, God is powerful enough to say, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid this week, boys and girls, and I'll see you really soon. We will now profess what we believe. Please respond to each question with, I believe. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty? I believe. Do you believe in Jesus, his only Son, our Lord? I believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life? I believe. Do you believe the Catholic Church is our family, the saints are our friends, and Jesus will be with us forever? I believe. This is our faith, and we are proud to profess it. We pray together to God, who is with us always. The response to our prayer will be, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the church throughout the world, that it may bring comfort and support to all who are in need. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all people who are hungry or poor or sick or in need of care, that God may watch over them and keep them safe in the storm. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all people whose loved ones have died, for those who are sad or afraid, that they may find the support and comfort that they need from others. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our parish, our family, and our friends, that we may be there for those who need our help, sharing God's love and comfort with each other. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. You may pause the video now to pray the intentions your family holds in their heart. May all our prayers be fulfilled through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with God forever and ever. Amen. United as the body of Christ, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let's now offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Our closing prayer. God of courage, help us to be brave when things are difficult and to be there for others who are facing hard times so that they may know that they are not alone. Amen. And may God bless us in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And the church says, Amen.